times. They are they are attracted to light and they have nomadicities, however they are not as dangerous as the clones to carry. Okay, here is a photo um, of two copula cubicuses that Maria and I captured in um, Smiling Cove Marina. This is a female copula and a male copula. The differences between these two is that the male have orange hemispherical structures surrounding its bell, and while the female does not. And they are actually really small, like what Maria said. Okay, now I'll be talking about the feeding and defensive mechanisms of the box jellyfish. Here is a diagram of how the nematocysts work in the box jellyfish. They are harpoon-like structures. And they are and they have a record of having the fastest working toxins known to biology. Um, their defense and feeding mechanisms are found in every inch of one tentacle, and they contain extremely potent venom that is uh, responsible for hy hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia is hyperkalemia means higher levels of potassium, and this leads to sudden cardiac arrest. Again, there are harpoon-like structures that penetrate its target in microseconds. And they are triggered by mechanical and chemical factors, such as the touch of the tentacle and the chemicals found in your skin. Okay, now from my hypothesis, from my hypothesis the nylon and spandex can be used as a protective gear to help prevent the penetration of the copula civicisi stinging cells into the human skin. Um, the collection of copula civicisi only occurred during the nighttime, like what Maria said. Um, we use these poles and this aquarium tank and the underwater lights, uh, stated by Maria. Our methodology is pretty much the same. So, and here's a, a collecting location, Smiling Cove Marina, and here's the methodology of how um, we, we created milk powder agripase to perform as our skin because again, we cannot use uh, humans as our test subject. Okay, now for my um, methodology is, this part is different from Maria's own. Um, I had to cut the agarplate solution. And after the slides have been solidified, I cut to the agar and I examined the cutout object through a compound microscope for the presence of a clear zone of lysis found in figure 14. And here are my results. Okay, for figure A, there, sh there shows a, I mean, it shows a, success a successful sign of no nematocysts fi being fired when test materials was placed over an agar plate. There's no penetration around. But however, in uh, figure B, you can see this uh, pores in the agar plate solution. And for spandex, um, Again, it is the same result. There is no penetration. However, over here, there is penetration. And for my conclusion, um, further research must be performed on a species that is more, that carries more potent venom because, again, the copula civicisi doesn't carry a uh, deadly venom that could uh, kill a person. Um, also, lack of equipment such as access to a boat during early morning hours, and safety swimming gears uh, to collect a more dangerous species allows a more conclusive result. Um, this research is important because it serves as a stepping stone for future breakthroughs in finding a blockage for all cubozoan from the mildest to the most dangerous specimens. And such breakthroughs may result to a safer swimming environment for all humans from all across the world. And that's it. Thank you.